I've been watching a lot of Andrew Tate recently now that I think about it. I'm not gonna lie, like, I disagree with him on some things, but some of the shit he says is low key facts. But... No, it's true. Welcome. Welcome to our side of the table. It's about goddamn time. Welcome to the war room. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the WMAP, the We Might Argue podcast. Uh, I am Ben. That is Brandon. That is Elijah. Um, you feel me? Uh, how y- how y'all how y'all been, man? How y'all doing? I feel like it's been a minute since I've seen I y'all. Talk to y'all. Tired. I hear that. I hear that. This is the last I podcast where I'll be employed. Mm. Oh, I thought you quit last week. No, Two my weeks. last day is on Monday. Okay. Two oh, weeks. yeah, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. But yeah, man. Until that Monday, I, so. I don't know why there's so much incriminating things in the back of my fucking, in the background, but we're just going to put that in. <laughs> what was that, pocket pussy, man? Nah, bro, it was just it's toilet paper, clogged, but that's because I was it's sick. Clogged, it's a clog. Um, you said what, Brandon? I didn't say anything. Anyways, um... So wait, you... I've been great. By the way, thanks for asking. Um, y'all don't really. Y'all How have you been, man? Y'all don't love me for real. I've been all right, man. You know, I've been, I've been chill. I've been vibing. I've been um trying to figure out how to. Mostly just trying to figure out how to arrange music properly. Like I've completely lost track of the days. Um, like bro, how the fuck do you how the fuck do you arrange up a chorus, bro? I don't know how to fucking do that shit. That shit's too hard. Which is mainly how I end up giving up on uh, a lot of the beats I work on. Range up a course with that. What is what does range up a course mean? Like I don't know how to arrange music. What does Post that mean though? Like, okay, let's see. Uh, you know, you know Daniel Caesar, uh, best part. Yeah. Okay, that's just a loop. Okay. So okay. It's just it's just. Uh, Da, snap da, da, snap and it's just like that the entire fucking song like um there was no point of bringing that Magnolia's up now that like i realized um like think of a magnolia like that. yeah magnolia is like that so like i i i have failed to make decent loops to where like it would just carry me for like two to three minutes um so i usually fuck mm. around on the piano as like an intro and then i just play until i fuck up and then it just starts the actual thing but it's not something that i should just keep doing you feel me it's like i just don't know how to progress beyond like an intro like a good intro i don't know how to fucking do and then like the beat part is like cool i guess for the most part pretty fucking mediocre in my opinion and then um and then that's when i give up because i don't know how to like arrange up a chorus after that mm. but um mm. yeah this is me bro oh okay. this is me and my that brain i need to cool. figure it out i mean what you were playing right before this podcast sounded like a gibby on type beat oh you know what i got i got a crazy one for y'all let's get yeah. into me and brandon we had a little conversation about astrology and we were going through our signs and like I thought this was a great opportunity to just make fun of astrology amongst ourselves. But um as I was reading some of the stuff that uh that was presented, it seemed like we were kinda like, damn, this is kinda this is kinda us right now. You know, me being a uh, me being a Sagittarius and Brandon being a Virgo. You don't like me, man. Are you? <laughs> I, forgot. <laughs> I forgot. What are no, you? No, I I am a virgin. <laughs> no, okay. Um, the I am a Libra. I uh, almost forgot. I'm a Libra. <laughs> yeah, type shit. So, I figure, um, draw you being a Ca- Leo. Leo. Um, you look like a Capricorn. You know what's crazy? I always guess Capricorn whenever someone, whenever astrology is brought up, whoever brought it up, I just assume it's a Capricorn. I'm wrong every single time. 
I said I look like a Capricorn. <laughs> and Capricorns are born in like fucking January. And I already know. I think I don't. I don't even fucking know, bro. What are you? He's he's a Leo. I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. I know. Um, no, DiCaprio. I know a couple of Leos, man. <laughs> some good fucking people right there. Such a vibe. <laughs> Except for Jaw. I don't know what's up with Jaw, bro. Let's see something wrong with him. So let's go through. Let's go through Leo's uh, uh, traits. It's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. And I'm not gonna personality. Lie to really? Oh, so you already know? Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Let's. We'll just. We'll just make this quick, bro. And I guess Brandon and and I will figure out if this is true or not. Um, bro, what is this shit? Leo's sun, Aries moon. All right, bro. I'm sure. Yes, that. that's like your rising and. Do so you have a Is rising that what sign? When prestige? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I have a rising sign. You have like a rising and a. I, I, I want to say setting. Keep in mind, I don't know much about astrology. Uh, I guess I'll make my point right now. Or, no, I'll let you continue. Continue though. Just Leo. Just Leo characteristics. That's all yeah, you have Leo to Google. Leo characteristics. I got here uh, ambition. You're you're ambitious, I guess you are. Um, confident. Yeah, I could use some work. Um, <laughs> attention seeking. Mm, yeah, I think yeah, Elijah yeah. has main character syndrome. I think yeah, I think yeah. Elijah also has uh, main character syndrome. Yeah. Uh, charismatic accurate. salesman. No. No. I've uh, never uh, seen uh, that. No, I don't think so. No. I mean, no. the podcast was his idea. He sold it pretty well to me. <laughs> to be honest, he just said, he yeah, just said podcast. I'm like, yeah, we should do podcast. But, um, charismatic, no, I wouldn't say charismatic. Leaders and That's controlling. Like controlling. I don't know why that was. Yeah, that, one, one. That, that one was for Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was. Uh, I don't know why it's into one, like section but should I, should I read into this one let's see this it's, it's uh leo has a vision of themselves and their lives which is just okay whatever um uh, as a result they like to control everything around them much like a movie director yeah i don't know about all that i, I do but not not with other people though you're not a good leader but you are controlling now i'm controlling but not with other people like I like to control my environment a lot, but not. I don't like to control people. Type shit. At type all. shit. Type shit. Yeah, Man, you're an awful leader. All you do is just yell at us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Get nowhere. Just yell. I barely even talk. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Anyway, let's move on. Passionate about life. Sure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hot tempered. Right, this nigga just like, it yells at us, bro. That one's inaccurate. That Brandon, one's inaccurate. Just, just blink twice if you need help, bro. Just, just, uh, <laughs> just uh, um, self involved <laughs> means that they can sometimes overlook the needs of the people around them. How, uh, how we feel about that? I think they can be so focused on themselves. But they do not see the, their actions. Hold on. Sorry. They can be so focused on themselves that they do not see how their actions impact others. Or that they aren't giving someone else the, the same support they can crave and respect. That they crave and respect. Yeah, right, whatever, bro. Reading is uh, very hard. This <laughs> late at the night. Um, yeah. Yeah. That used to be a flaw. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, In relationships. Uh, what the fuck does vain mean? Vain? He's like vain? Isn't that like means... conceited? Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Makes, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's that's accurate. Yeah. Okay. And then generous and open. Which, for sure. Um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What do, you, what do you think, Brandon, about that list, man? Uh, of, um, for well, I, I, I kind of had to. I was talking to my sister for a bit, 
so I missed the ending parts. But uh, um, I it was leader, leader, somewhat, but you have no communication. Uh, <laughs> like none whatsoever. Um, I don't I actually know. see you like being an attention whore, but I think everyone is to a certain degree. So I guess. And then I used to be. I used to be. Um, what was the other traits? Just um, bullet point them. Damn, I gotta see. <laughs> open the shit. I got you. Yeah, so, I it, it was hot tempered, self involved, vain, and then generous and open. I don't think he's hot tempered. I think his temper is actually he, he's able to keep his cool most of the time. Yeah. Okay. The only time he'll lose his temper is if you lock him out of his pro clubs. That's it. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I've I've, say... I've 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 heard better matches. That's what I'll say. Hmm. Yeah, temper. I think. Um... Like here, let me read yours, man. You are a. You just have mine already. Oh. You I think, are. A... Uh, my temper is actually. I keep it under control pretty well. I think that's your birthday's in like I'm next a, week. I'm a Sagittarius. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's next week, man. You feel me? Um, we don't listen. All I'm saying between us, we do not gotta hang out. You feel me? Like I don't really give a fuck too much about my birthday. I don't give a fuck about my B day. But um, you feel me? If y'all want to send me food, it would be very much appreciated. Feed feed me and my family. You feel me? If you want, okay. Here, are you ready? Yeah, what's up? So you Sagittarians are optimistic. Sagittarians? Why wow, that sounded kind of racist. Right? Sagittarians. <laughs> that's what that's what it says. Sagittarians are optimistic. I've never heard that before. That's crazy. Though. You're not optimistic. What do you mean? Um, I'm so optimistic, bro. Nah, you're not. Unless optimistic. unless I'm involved, bro. Like, yeah, if, we'll if, be. If it's my yeah, own yeah. Life, listen, I'm not. I'm not listen, optimistic, bro. Listen, we'll be like. Five seconds into a 2K game, and Ben will be like, "It's over." Yeah, because yeah, we're it's lost. Over. Lost. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> and that's just one case. Y'all don't know me in my real life, bro. Y'all only know me on on the sticks, bro. <laughs> right, anyways, lovers of freedom. Okay, yeah, that is you. I can give that. I yeah. can give that what does that mean? Like you just love your freedom. Like you love. Wow, that sounds even more racist. Uh, you love. <laughs> Wow, that was crazy. You love <laughs> your freedom. You love like being able to do your own thing. That's type what I think that shit. means. Which is definitely you. You're probably yeah. it says you're hilarious. Uh debatable. Fair minded. I don't really know what fair minded means. What the fuck? Honest and intellectual. Fair minded. You are spontaneous and fun, usually with a lot of friends. And perhaps the best conversationalist of all zodiac signs. Mm, type shit, type shit. The best okay. conversation. Those are your best traits. Yeah, now, let's, let's go back to that. Uh, let's go back to that hilarious part, and you and you put in that slack comment of of it being debatable. What's up with that? You got something you want to uh, tell me? No, no, I'm just joking. Come on, man. Mm. You're hilarious, man. Uh, all right, all right, nigga. <laughs> all right so your worst traits so those were your best traits so oh, your worst, traits, worst traits. traits all right let's, let's no, no. at their worst sagittarians get bored easily type shit, type I, shit. I think that's somewhat true oh that's 100 percent true man and move on earning them the reputation for being the biggest commitment phobes in this in the zodiac <clears throat> so they basically <laughs> said you can't have you you can't commit to things. You know, for those who don't know, which is no one at all except for these guys, um, there was a, a period in my life where I would just disappear for a couple of years, um, and then come back and say what's up, and then just disappear again for maybe another like six to eight months. Like I mean, I had the time to hang out and talk to these guys, but uh, I just didn't. Okay. So yeah, chop that up to me being a Sagittarius or being depressed. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Here, read this next line. This next line. 
if you want someone to stir the pot and then walk away, call a Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, bro, we, John, remember, remember we talked about this. I like to ask people questions, and remember, remember it was you, me, and Megan on the pod. Yeah, 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 and it was yeah. like, what's your toxic trait? I'm like, I like to, I like to like start conversations with people and then like not really be a part of it. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm a Sagittarius oh, girl. Man. What's a Sagittarius like as a friend? Mm-hmm. Sagittarians are always down to do something cultural or intellectual, even if it's weird or I can't pronounce that word, or requires you to travel to the try other it, side try of and town. Say the word, man. Avant-garde? Avant-garde. Yes, sir. Avant-garde. Yeah, I don't know what that what means. The fuck they always that? tell the truth, sometimes without a coat of sugar. Very true. But are incredibly open-minded and non-judgmental. Also fairly true. Also, they help burn down an ex's house. <laughs> Didn't we try to roll up on someone's ex in this party? In in this place? Who was it again? Move on. I can't Move remember. On. But yeah. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so move on move on okay let me look at myself yeah. a libra because i'm now interested yeah let's see let's see about brandon's first and then we'll we'll move on to path numbers and we'll get into all this um uh... wow i have a lot of worse traits apparently anyways all right let's hear so it, libra is the silk thread weaving together the opposing forces in their lives what does that even mean? What the like, fuck? What does that? that even mean? <laughs> what, the, what was that? <laughs> Weaving together the opposing forces in their lotus. Find them, find them reconnecting two family members who let grudges get in the way of Thanksgiving. Or convincing a high school bully to apologize to their classmates. Libra's <laughs> gift is to make everyone around them feel so wonderfully seen, understood, and accepted. Yeah, I'm starting to think this shit's some bullshit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck all this astrology shit. Nigga. I don't believe in none of this no more. <laughs> Yo, what is the, what is that? They ain't gonna match another my nigga Brandon got. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what They're masters of listening to life stories and long winded rants. That's true. That's definitely mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you know Libra, you're lucky to have been on the receiving end of some of the most specific heartfelt compliments ever crafted. Libras are fascinated by all shades of human nature and know how to see everyone in their best light. I do have a very positive outset on the world, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I probably trust a little bit too much in humanity. And it's a bad thing. Anyways, so what are the worst traits? Conflict is the limbo stick Libra bends and contorts to avoid. Libras need to be seen as well-mannered, warm-hearted souls, which makes them okay. putting up a fight feel real daunting. Whoever, whoever wrote this was a, was a Libra, bro. Because what is with all these words, man? <laughs> <What's laughs> all these words? Yo, it's the <laughs> same website part. that I used for you. And, like, uh, bro, I got paragraphs. You had, like, two sentences. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Libra <laughs> energy blurs the line between peacekeeping and pretending. Instead of confronting their co-worker about constantly having to cover their shifts, Libra might take on the task with a forced smile. Libras tend to only address conflict that they think matters on an intellectual level, but this often leaves them feeling unhurt or dissatisfied. The scales then try to balance their anger through gossip sessions or glaring passive aggression. Since Libras have such strong ideals, suppressing their voice is giving away their power in a, le- in a neatly wrapped gift basket. It seems anti- t- anti-ethical, but when a Libra does start an argument with you, it's because they trust and respect you and think the conflict is worth the discomfort it will cause them. Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. Bro, like that's I had a full on that's paragraph. Accurate. I don't know about all that. Wh- whoever whoever is in charge of this fucking website is a Libra, bro. And then how is how are they for a friend? For a Libra, life isn't a solo mission. The air signs would rather wander through life and hand in hand with treasured friends. Yeah, what is it talking about? <laughs> and 
Libras light up when they're spending time with their crew and cherish all of their friends' opinions and idiosyncrasies. The air signs never... Say, what idio? air sign? What the fuck? Idiosyncrasies? Idios. It's like your tendencies, basically. Mm, okay. The air signs never miss an opportunity to show their pals how much they care. Little acts of love like handmade cards or photo albums are a Libra trademark. Unlike Libra's zodiac opposite, Aries who my girlfriend is, who tells the world who they are in all caps, Libra finds their sense of self through others. Their natural meditators see themselves in each of their friends, which is why they're able to ease any tension that might bubble up in their group. You can thank a Libra by letting them style you for your next date. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that, man. But, uh... Not gonna let me style you for your next date? So I don't know if I necessarily believe in astrology or not. Again, I can relate to some of the stuff they talk about. But at the end of the day, like, I don't think I ever look at my sign and be like, oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, at the end of like, this day, like, I'm officially done with fucking astrology. That was, that was the most random bullshit I've ever heard in my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. But well, um, what I was saying, I think, yeah, I think there's like a solid, you know, maybe one, maybe two things there, but like the rest of it is like, damn, what the fuck? That is not my brother. That is not my brother, Brandon, right there. I think the conflict level is the conflict resolution part. Yeah, I do. I, I'm, I'm very good at easing tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I am. Okay. I, I I remember the very first Montreal trip. That was so <laughs> funny, but on so many different scales. And I feel like the reason people didn't start going crazy on each other was because I was just there easing tension. Mm, and like everyone was, knew there was tension, but I was still easing it. Am I the only one that felt like there was no tension at all? Because you're a Sagittarius. You avoid the tension. No, I'm joking. What do you think about Brandon's, uh, um, yeah. Um, you think it lines up? Like, some of the stuff does. Like, the, like I said, like, the conflict one, like, he doesn't like to get into, uh, conflict unless, like, it has to be had. There's no other option. Um... He listens to all men's rant all the time. So that's that's true. That's true. Um, what else though? I do I, like I do care about about people. Like I talk shit because I've known you guys for a long time. But like, if yeah. two people of our of our group are fighting, I feel like I I I'm the one to probably go to to like ease the tension. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I mean, okay. it is what it is. I, I guess I've you yet want to believe witness it. in myself, man. I yeah, I guess so. I feel like I feel like um, I, feel but like I probably like I'm starting the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like uh, I feel like I like confrontation more than what that that thing just said. Have you done anything lately worth remembering? I hope you put that in because you did something worth remembering. Nope. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what it's all about here at the WMAP. I haven't. So, I, so I'm asking you guys if you all have. No. Nah. I can't say I've done anything worth uh, bringing up. Sorry, Brandon. I cut you off there. What were you saying? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. My life's boring. At least mm. right now. Same. Yeah, all I've done like, in the past, uh, most recently, is just like work on uh, making beats, learning how to make beats, and uh, that's about it, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> so... I feel like, um, what's the word? Uh, like, I was explaining to someone once that, yeah, I'm, I'm running this podcast. I'm uh, uh, in talks with making music with, with my friend, or like basically songwriting. Um, uh, trading and and whatnot, and it's like, bro, what the fuck? You're doing so many things. In my head, I'm just like, I mean, half of this shit is not making me money, so I don't, 
I don't really see it like that. It's just it's just me doing shit. But um, I don't know. It's fun. So like, anything worth bringing up is is not exactly none of that's really exactly worth bringing up though. Um, in my opinion. So uh, I just quit my job. I guess that's the only thing worth remembering. Oh yeah, it's my first time quitting somewhere. So it yeah. was a weird experience, but <laughs> something it's something that had to be done. Mm-hmm. So maybe this next month will be something worth remembering, and I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll be recording the podcast out of a box. Mm, but yeah. no, no, I'll be fine. Obviously, I still, I still live with my parents. Forty year old virgin. That's the goal. Then I'm make a reality TV show. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's not just scripted. It's gonna be. It's gonna be real. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Who's who's the uh... Okay. You said reality TV show? Yeah. Type shit. Because there's shit. a guy on there's a guy in our uh We Might Argue podcast uh TikTok who commented hating on me. <laughs> He's hating on me. What happened? <laughs> I posted a clip where I was just like it was the one where I said Julia sent me like a dirty voice message. Ah, right? come on. That was that was like eight months. That was like five months ago, man. What are, what are we talking about? Man? Yeah, but the guy commented, right? And he was like, What's that guy talking about? Look at him. And I was yeah. like, I was like, God damn. That was disrespectful, man. This guy roasted me. This guy said that guy that guy's capping. Hey, so Brandon, like, when did you find out about that? What? That comment. That comment, mm-hmm. like maybe three months ago, four months oh, ago. Oh, you've been new about this. Yeah, yeah, but I just never brought it up. Oh, type shit. Yeah, cause like Josh, ja, Josh ja showed me it like the the yeah. same day, uh, the same day that the post was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way back. Yeah. So it's like damn. Yeah, and like I I always like remember it. It's just that you know my train. I'm that type. I'm a type of person that my train of thought keeps going. So like. I'll start thinking about random shit if it correlates even a little bit. Hmm. So yeah, that guy was hating on me. He was really hating. hating on me. Yeah, man. He you know hating. what they say: your biggest haters be your biggest motivators. Yo, your soul. Only yeah, well, you should save that for the end. No, he was. He was. He was that was a crazy, uh, a crazy comment. Yeah. Do you, what do you guys think about those TikTokers making like no money on their videos? Um, I think TikTok is a great platform to gain an audience. And aside from that, because sponsors, are, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, um, I know there's like a base amount that TikTok would give you, uh, which is not a lot, which is why people get actually into sponsorships and ads. You said what? It's almost nothing, actually. Yeah, it's almost nothing. Like I, I heard someone who who did like uh like maybe two mil or like twelve mil on TikTok got like like maybe like two hundred, five hundred bucks or something. Like, bro, it's fucking whack. Yeah, I That's think crazy. like KSI had like a monthly viewing views of like around twenty to thirty million because hmm. each video will get like one right, like one one point five two, and like for the month he got less than like a thousand dollars. Yeah, no, yeah, that's crazy, that's right? Like at that point, that's not even the source of income. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it is to like you branch from TikTok, but it's still trash. Like that, the like site itself basically doesn't endorse you whatsoever. Because if YouTube was to switch to their payment system tomorrow, oh man, oh man, there'd be ads in everybody's videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. man. I mean, like. It seems like the blueprint has been um, before it was like uh, YouTube and then from YouTube, like you just invest, I guess. Nowadays, it's just like you can build a platform literally anywhere and then you maybe branch off like from TikTok, for example, like TikTok and then you'd move on to YouTube because then you would, you know, there's more like money opportunity. And then I guess from there, like I guess you could just stream where you just stay on YouTube or whatever. Actually, yeah, I feel like that's just like the blueprint overall. I mean, I guess in reality, like they can't give as much money as YouTube because TikTok's a platform where 
views can get accumulated just so much easier. Mm-hmm. Than yeah, YouTube. the algorithm on TikTok is uh, like you can get views pretty good. Like, like you can get views like crazy because people just keep swiping. They just keep going. On YouTube, you gotta like search what you're looking for, but like on TikTok, if you the algorithm, they people just keep swiping. You'll get on someone's video. I remember I ended up on this random girl's live TikTok for no reason, and she was literally just. I think she was like playing some game that I had searched up on Google like a week ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how did this girl like with no right. followers end up on my like TikTok page as I'm scrolling through? And then yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. yo, it must have been when I was searching for like that game. But yeah, it was just it was just crazy. Like their algorithm, the way they do it is pretty mod still. But it's easier to accumulate views. Mm-hmm. Oh, easy. Yeah, man. You just drag your audience over to a better platform that can uh, just give you more money overall. Unless like, unless like you care about um, views overall, then you would just stay on TikTok or whatever the fuck <clears throat> type shit, you know. Because even that transition, like you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose followers, or you're gonna lose viewers or whatever. But that's just normal. Yeah, yeah, you're going to. It's a normal occurrence niggas really fuck with you know they'll uh they'll move over with you type shit i guess before you go brandon let's uh let's get through this uh i had this idea of uh what's it called no i stumbled upon this thing uh people call uh love languages and i was wondering uh if y'all know what that is it's like no. ways to display affection it's like it's like uh words of affirmation mm-hmm. it's one of them Physical touch. Mm-hmm. I don't know the other like three. Um, it's like physical touch, oh, oh. quality Ta- time, like tasks. gifts, something like that. Yeah, quality time, like getting get, getting tasks done for you, like favors done for you. Um, yeah. What was your question? If we uh, know what they are. Yeah, I was wondering what is y'all's love language. There's only five. What the fuck? I thought there was more than that. I didn't even know what it okay, was. Okay, so it's words honest. of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, acts of service, and receiving gifts. Receiving gifts. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, there's there's some gold diggers out there. Um. No, nah, but like a love language is receiving a. Gift. Oh, there's an actual quiz. Am I missing? Something? Yeah, yeah. Like that's what that's what I was saying. Like, um. When, nah, when, they, like, buy sh- when they buy shit for you yeah, yeah that's kind of crazy you're doing a quiz doesn't that shit take a long time bro we'll see i'm gonna speed through but keep talking okay, good luck with that, man. um so yeah Joe, what do you think is your love language i'm uh, you know personally sorry i don't know why i asked you and then just decided i wanted to answer <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead, honestly bro i would say quality time is mine but the thing is with that i get kind of um uh, I get kind of uh, not obsessive, but I get very upset when the, when the the time spent is not of quality. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, I spaced that again. <laughs> yeah. What? What? I have no what idea what just happened. When the when the time spent is not of quality, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like wasting your time. So you say, yeah, nah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like. My, the only problem I have with that one though is like isn't isn't everything um doesn't everything kind of fall under the umbrella of quality time? Um like it's not a given. I don't think so, bro. Well so like you're saying, um Okay, like like for example, for example. Um your love language could be physical touch, right? Which means they have to physically be you. there and you have to physically touch them. I think right. I'm going to space out any second now. Um, and I guess you're spending quality time, right? Yeah, no, I lost it. I lost it. But like, okay, okay no, because I'm not touching you if the if the time is not of quality. Yeah. If we're not having a good time, I'm not, I'm not touching you. Yeah, that's not always the case. Like, it's like, um, <laughs> it's like, um, uh, Y'all are at like a fancy dinner or whatever, and y'all are sitting across from each other on the table, or like, 
or like, okay, okay, or like you're at a family get together, and you know y'all are just on opposite ends of the table also, or or like your your shorty might be across the room talking to your mom, and you're chilling with your cousin type shit. That's overall okay, quality okay. time, I'd say. Yeah, that makes sense. But does love that language always involve? Is it always associated with your partner? With having a partner? Is this like a romantic? Not necessarily. Thing? You don't need to have a partner. Because I feel like it just might be what you value, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Like I'm not I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I shouldn't have a love language because I'm not in a relationship. That's what I'm saying. Oh I was just saying that um like can this also be applied to like the homies? Maybe. Is that a thing? But why would you be touching your homies? You know, you know, you know them. You know them white folks <laughs> that like the rough house with their with their friends. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like in them movies. Yeah. Um. My, I guess mine would be uh, physical touch and. Uh, yeah, like, is definitely physical touch. Like that was just big away, bro. That's why I'm not even like asking if that if you're sure, bro. Like I know, nigga. <laughs> We all know, nigga. <laughs> I said Brandon's doing a quiz, and you're you're the right there. <laughs> he, he doesn't need a quiz; he already knows. This nigga do not need no bro, fucking quiz, bro. Nigga, we know. Physical touch, man, and and uh, maybe words of affirmation. Oh, you can you can mix them around. Uh, I'm just saying, like I have multiple, but if I had to choose one, it'd be physical touch. Yeah. If I could choose multiple, I I would say I'm a quality you know like i would say i'm an active service guy but unless i see you on a regular i'm not doing nothing for you you know what i mean yeah yeah i don't know yeah 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 that's more of like you have to be right there type shit right i don't really like i don't really like touching people that uh i I don't really fuck with so Physical touch is out of the fucking... But again, yo, receiving gifts is kind of crazy. I don't I don't know how this is a thing. So I am 29% physical touch. Yeah. 26% act of service. Oh, so you're... you're uh, okay. 3% quality time. Yeah. 13% words of affirmation and 10% receiving gifts. 10% receiving gifts. So I... I, I Number one was physical touch. Mm. And then, like, acts of service you know, and quality sense. time is sense. 26 so Sometimes you pushing me around or whatever, and I'm just wondering, like, nigga, why is this nigga touching me right now? Hey, yo. So, like, my top three is physical touch, acts of service, and quality time. Like, they're all very close to each other. Keep in mind, I've literally just shotgunned that quiz because I want to do it really quick. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, and then words of affirmation and receiving gifts are low. I'm uh, so that makes me ten percent of a uh, gigolo. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even think about it like that. You know it's what? <laughs> Maybe I am a receiving gifts kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo, I gotta go, or else my brother's gonna be stranded. I did that to him already once last week. Oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah. Okay. It'd be easy. Yes, sir. Yo. Later. It's just you and me, brother. Yes, sir. Uh, you and me. We want to talk about man. You know, know, I bought Netflix the other day. You said, yeah, you didn't want to, but you had to because uh, yeah. your sh- top boy wasn't on the streaming, or it was, but it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, on the. On the platform I used to watch it, and this is all alleged. So let me let me say it real quick with a big stamp. Allegedly, yeah, I'm safe. The allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> that's the dumbest thing you guys do. <laughs> it makes no sense. You say, yeah, I allegedly did something, and then just tell the whole story about how you did it. <laughs> Yeah, no, you just got you got to throw in like five, six allegedly in there, and you're and you're safe. Isn't that how that works? Oh, I guess not. But um, yeah. So there's this, there's this, there's this uh, 
app I use to watch some shit. Um, and when I try and when I try to watch Top Boy, it would give me this old Summer House version from 2011. So I'm like, fuck Summer man. House. And then, uh, so season four, quote unquote, season four, but like the Netflix Top Boy season two, uh, I think it's been out since like February, and I somehow dodged every single spoiler, and I'm like, fuck it, let's let's fucking go. Um, and then yeah, I, I tried to watch it over the summer. They kept showing the Summer House one. I, and then uh, up until like a couple of days ago, it's like, oh shit, it's actually here. So I watch episode one, and I'm ready to watch episode two, but come to find out. Uh, it goes right back to the summer house version, and I'm fucked. And I'm like, damn, I already started this fucking show, um, and I can't just watch another one like a completely different show now. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just buy uh, Netflix for the month. It's it's. <clears throat> I have a streaming website as well for like different shows, and um, allegedly, I got you. <laughs> it did that for Attack on Titan. Like the the they wouldn't show the full episode. Um, I got one. For and you, then man. I got one for when you. it did, it like show me an episode from a different season. Like mm-hmm. with the whole season four one part two thing. Sometimes it go back and like show me uh, episode. It show me like season four part one. I'm trying to watch part two. I found I found a good one now, but it does happen. I don't know why. Yeah, how'd you feel about uh the ending of uh the that season four part two and then. Wait, did you finish? Yeah. Yeah, how'd you feel about that season four part two of AOT and uh comes to find out there's a part three coming out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a it wasn't coming out like January or something. Something like that. I'm not used to I'm not like I'm used to like, oh, there's a part one, part two, and then I'm thinking that's it. And then oh shit, oh shit, nigga, part three. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought well, is it like is it a part I guess it's the same thing, season five or part three yeah but it's only supposed to be like a couple episodes no 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 really? no it's a whole season um how i feel about it do you think if she gave a different answer he wouldn't have done what he did uh, remember when he asked her if she loves too much about all that oh okay like at the end um in like the last episode they're like chilling on like a on like a hill or something and then he asks her if she loves him like romantically and um was that a she flashback? Like lies. She like lies and says no. Was that a flashback? No, this is during the thing. Oh shit. no, no, this is this is like the night before he takes off and starts um bringing his his uh terror elsewhere. So it was like um I don't remember that. Cause I, I feel like maybe if she said it, if she was honest and said yes, he wouldn't have gone on to do what he did. Cause look, cause look, cause look, cause look. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I didn't see this, but on the last episode, from what I recall, they were on a boat, and then they were headed to out of the island, and Levi was there, and yeah, yeah, they left from Thailand, right? They got they got to the to the the outside world. They're living. I thought that them. was a flash. I thought that was a flashback. Am I tripping? That was a flashback when they're living amongst the the like regular people. That's what I thought because I thought I thought Sasha was there, and they like went through a trial because Sasha died, and then Sasha was was there. Sasha, who's Sasha? Again? She's the one that died in the zeppelin in the in the in the yeah, in the, the blimp. The, the, a lot. The, yeah, the one that the the farmer, the one that eats a lot. I don't think her name is Sasha, but yeah, the one that eats yeah, a lot yeah. that died from that kid. That yeah, kid. she was there. Yeah, I I could have sworn she was there. So then I that whole know. thing was a dream. I thought it was a flashback. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Maybe I'll look back into it. I don't know, bro. Anyway, let's move on because this kind of this kind of got all over the place. Um, what are you, are you watching? Anything right now? Uh, Peaky Blinders. Mm, what season you on? Four. Season yeah. Four. Oh, you fucking with it? That shit go kind of hard, man. Yeah, that Thomas shit's hard. Bro, that shit's Shelby. hard. Told me, told me, Shelby. You know what kind of kills? Um, like things that I see that kind of like kill the series for me, which I'm glad I finished the whole thing before I saw it. It's like there's like case studies. Sorry, what? 
So don't spoil, don't spoil. Oh yeah, no, I'm not even gonna talk about all that. Um, there's like case studies and videos out there of, of like, and they're using the show as an example on how to be confident, and like examples of confidence and masculinity, and they use that show, they use Thomas Shelby specifically as like, this is how. Um, you should this be as a how, man. This is how. Not even that. It's like. It's like this is the type of energy you should have to come off confident, like just overall body mannerisms. And I'm like, what the fuck are you? What what is this? Man? Stop! You're annoying me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this, is, this is getting kind of annoying. But uh, I'm glad I I because bro, if I seen all that stuff, and then for whatever reason I actually watched it, um, it would have like put me off from the show. Like, damn, it's like that big niggas are trying to leech off the show thinking of anything just to fucking milk it i guess it must not be good that would have been my um uh, uh, yeah, assumption yeah. if i never seen the show before but yeah the show's the show's amazing i think there's a movie um coming out of it really i think i can't watch it if tommy is not tommy in it though yeah i don't i, I don't really i don't really know too much about it um but I apparently, I think, I don't know. I, this might have been a complete fucking lie. I have no idea. But I could have sworn I heard there was a movie with Peaky Blinders coming out. But I don't really know too much about it. If no, that is the case. I probably dropped it, to be honest. But anyway, yeah. Peaky Blinders, that's a really good show, man. That's a really good show. It's, it is It is really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's really weird, though, too. Uh, I, okay, I guess I see what they're saying about the whole confidence thing and how he talks to women. Like, uh, there was a, remember, like, he was dealing with the uh, the horse trainer. And so, like, the first time she comes over, they have a drink at the bar, and he's like, do you want to fuck? Do you want to fuck? Mm-hmm. And she's like, is that what you say to women? He's like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, so I see what they're saying with the whole confidence thing. The way he talks to the women and everything is just like, um how I guess men wish they could talk to a woman. Mm. But uh, I think it it's uh, it's important not to um, it's important not to uh, romanticize or become like or start to like look up to fictional characters. characters. Fictional characters <laughs> who are actually bad people. Like yeah, he slits people's throats, you know? So I don't know, bro. People need to relax. Like Bro, back when Ted, Ted Bundy was a thing, back in the 80s or 90s or whenever that was, or even the 70s, to be honest, bro, this guy would have a whole fan club, bro. Right? It was crazy. And now, now niggas are foaming over Jeffrey Dahmer, even though they're really foaming over, like, the actor. They which... love to romanticize um, serial killers. Yeah. It's this thing. Like, women do that a lot. They did it with um, Ted Bundy. Um Especially what when, when uh what's his name, Zac Efron played him as in in the uh, in the film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously you're gonna fall in love with with Ted Bundy, nigga. If it's being played by Zac motherfucking Efron, bro, what the fuck? And then they did the same thing with uh with Joe from You. Mm-hmm. And so like the guy who like plays where... Joe. Well, actually, no, mm-hmm. I don't want to say that's where it started. I highly doubt that's where it started. I think it started with, with like Ted Bundy. And then in terms of like, like, um, our, uh, I guess what generation of media, um, kind of just migrated to like Joe from you, um, and it just kind of got out of hand. Like, it just seemed okay for people to just idolize these serial killers because they they look attractive or whatever, and like, bro, they just ruined for these people. Like, you feel me? Like, I mean. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I was about uh, to say I was I was rooting for Joe, but uh, no, it's 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 like he's a he's a he's a he's a G. Like, but I was like rooting him. for Joe because I really liked the concept and I really liked the writing. Some niggas are just ruling or voting for Joe. Um, are rocking with Joe just because he's fucking tall, white, skinny, <laughs> and handsome. <laughs> So he's a likable character. I mean, yeah, he's a likable character. That that part, that part too. Yeah. You have to make the the main character likable, and everyone's gonna love, watch the show. Type shit, type shit. Yeah. 
that's true like um there's a show i was going to watch it's called uh, i think it's called uh uh the godfather of harlem and it has forrest mm. Whitaker as the lead um mm. hey, i don't want to watch this old nigga fucking you feel me but that's my brother type shit so i'm definitely gonna watch it after uh after uh what's it called top boy yeah everybody <laughs> thank you for listening to the wmap the we might argue podcast um hey bro stay tuned man we're gonna be we're gonna have a space i believe in january maybe february uh, we're gonna stop all this discord shit and we're gonna make things um harder for ourselves financially <laughs> what <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna make things harder for ourselves financially. And <laughs> and um, I'm actually trying to think of the word I was I was supposed to say, but damn, I think I lost it. Wow, this has been a fucking weird week, man. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna give up on that. Uh, yeah, stay tuned, bro, for everything we got going out. Um, clips will come back. Yeah, clips will come back, bruh. Um, and yeah, man, I've been Ben. Uh, that's been Elijah. Brandon had to go pick up his brother in case that wasn't uh, vocalized earlier. Um, yeah, you got any last words, man? Any last words? Any last and words? Motherfucking words. Ah, da, 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 da. If you want to know how to be a man and talk to a woman, just watch Peaky Blinders type shit type shit or um trial and error man you feel me i don't know i don't know what's up with this nigga trial and error man you feel me just you see you see you see a beautiful young lady that okay let me let me not say those words because some of the, some of that might be a little mis miscommunicated if you see a beautiful woman out there in the world you'll see a lot of them are you good what happened to you bro I just got like a spike of uh, pain in my ear, like a really sharp, just like. Yeah, don't look that one up. What is that right there? <laughs> I might self diagnose. I forgot what I was even going to say. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's that. All right, bro. You want to play some 2K? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been spacing out so bad. That's crazy. You know, should I? Should I? I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna get this off and just cut it if it if it sounds good or not. If it sounds knowledgeable or not. Trial and error. You see a you see a woman out there that you and you know what? They don't have. They don't even have to be someone that you're um trying to get with romantically. You feel me? Waste yeah. their time because <laughs> because at. The, at the end of the day, you're, the whole point is for you to get XP. You feel me, my gentlemen, my young, my young niggas out there. You got to get that XP. Know what it's like. Learn about different types of women out there. And uh, trial and error, you will get rejected. You think the first one will be yours? You think the second one is going to be yours? No, it's trial and error, bro. Uh, you have to work on yourself. Build, uh, build skills communi- communicatively. Is that a word? Yes, sir. I don't care. But yeah, man. No, it's true. I have taken uh I've taken so many L's, man. Yeah. Talking about these. So yeah. many. My thing is, personally, I talked I talked to a girl and it's cool. And then um I just kinda get bored. <laughs> you get bored. <laughs> I just kinda get bored and it's just like I don't know, like, me, I like being dumb. I like being dumb and, like, carefree and not really thinking and, like, you know, say the say dumb shit, freestyle wow. bad, and sing even worse, you know? That's just me. Um, yeah. So it's like, if, if someone else can't just... Keep, and, like, I like to do that only. <laughs> I like to do that only. I don't like doing nothing else. So Yeah, yeah. You feel me? If, uh, if someone else out there can match my motherfucking energy... No, that's true. Great. Sure, you need someone to match to match your energy. I'm not afraid of. Uh, I guess I'm just not afraid of losses. I don't really know what it is, but like um, failure doesn't really scare me. So I'll always um, 
shoot my shot and or or whatever. And um, I've had some pretty some pretty bad uh, some pretty bad turndowns. Yeah. Remember, um, what's the worst thing they can say? No. No, the worst thing they can no, say is they can say worse. Ew. <laughs> they can say worse. They can say ew. Yo, I remember um I uh I was a horn dog after I broke up with my uh, girlfriend from grade nine. Yeah. Um and uh I was making out with this girl who wasn't attractive at a party and like um I went to a room where we were kissing and uh I knew she wasn't really that that pretty, but like as I said, I was just looking for for play, and so um, I wanted to escalate things. But this is my first time in this scenario; I didn't know how. Yeah. So I just I just asked. Um, I'm like, hey, do you want to like? Do you, what did I say? I said, um, do you want to do some oral stuff? <laughs> and she was like, I'm gonna go, <laughs> and then they just left the room. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh and then yo, know, I get to, I get to practice. I get to, I get to practice in the morning, and the I'm the captain, so the the team's like, yo, cap, um, do you wanna do you wanna go do some <laughs> oral stuff? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's yo! crazy. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I, I'm like, how do you guys even know about that? And nah. they're like, yo. She was in the, the the she was the um she was like I guess the weird girl from that grade. I'm not a part of. She was a grade lower than me, so mm-hmm. I, I wasn't familiar with like who is weird and who's not. Apparently, she's like the, the ugly weird girl from that grade, and so they're like, "Yo, man, you got turned down from so and so. You ain't so the funny. captain anymore, bro." That's so funny. <laughs> you you're not the captain in my eyes, brother. <laughs> Coach might say uh, you the captain, but you not the captain to us, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was crazy. a tough one. Can I put that in? Yeah, that's a clip. That's a clip. I bet. That's like that's like that's like the end. 